So I've been saying for about the last five videos that I need to make a push stick. Well, today's the day. So I'm trying out materials that I find around my shop. Some are too clunky. Some are too flimsy. And others are just maybe a little too robust for this type of project. But I think I have the perfect solution. This is Floof. Floof is my shop cat. Look at this distrustful animal. I haven't even turned the saw blade on yet, and she still doesn't want to stay on the piece of wood. I'm going to have to build myself something. I don't think I can use Floof as my push stick. So I started off with a drawing I found online. Did my best to make a reference of that. Now I'm just uh, taking a little bit of wood here, some scrap from another project. I'm going to cut a section that fits that piece. And I needed the piece to be somewhat push stick like. Um, I've seen lots of different versions of these online. I didn't think it really mattered that much. So I'm just cutting up my stock. Next up is to stencil everything that I see. I don't know why I didn't push it over to the right just a little bit more so I could avoid that knot hole entirely, but I didn't. So it becomes a huge pain in the butt instead. And now it's time to get out the jigsaw. Go ahead and cut out the shape, whatever shape you might want to make. This would be a really easy project for somebody. You don't have to have a shop cat. You could have anything. But I do highly encourage a shop cat. The, my shop cat's pretty great. She's taken. You're going to have to get your own. But yeah, just cutting out with the jigsaw. Follow the lines. Get them close. They don't have to be perfect. And now we're shaping with the sander. This thing is pretty nice. It's from Harbor Freight. It does the job. It doesn't do anything super precise, but it's good for rounding over edges like this. And now a little bit of filing for these small corners. I can't get this with my sander, and so just going to get the file out. I do have an actual vise, and I don't know why I don't ever use it, probably because it's not actually installed anywhere. But uh, I do need to get that going as well. And if a person had a bandsaw, it, this would probably be a much better, easier job because you would have cut the lines a lot closer. So I'm going to route around all these lines. Um, I'm not sure why I chose certain things when I decided to cut them out. I feel like I should have done the eyes differently, but it's one of those things where you get like one shot. I guess you could practice everything, but... I look at every project as practice and hopefully I learn something so that next time it's a little bit easier. The rest of it I think goes really well. Um, not really that big of a deal. I've been practicing using my router like this and so it's not too difficult. Now I'm just sanding everything down just to make it nice and smooth. We got almost less than two steps left I think and then we're going to be pretty well done with this project. And now it's time to set your cat on fire. I mean, add a little bit of a charred look to it. I think that looks pretty good. Gives it kind of a, I don't know, cat-like pattern. So I thought that looked pretty cool. And here I'm just adding a shoe to the bottom. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is so that I don't have to remake it every time it gets messed up. All I have to do is take this over to my table saw, cut off the shoe. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but I'm going to call it a shoe. And then add a new one. Seems like a pretty simple process. And in the last part of the build here, I'm just going to add a little portion to the back that acts as a grabber. So I've got a shoe and a grabber on this thing. I'm just making up terms left and right. I'm going to pre-drill some holes, I'm going to countersink those holes, and then I'm going to add some screws, all in locations where saw blades will never reach, and that will also make this so that whenever this wears out, I can just take it off and I can replace it with a new piece. Again, the idea is not to remake the shop cat over and over and over again, it is just to replace pieces over time and just continue using it. Hopefully that'll work, but if it doesn't, 
I'll just build a new one. I'll make it better. Maybe ShopCat version 2.0. And it's time to clear coat your cat. Wait, don't clear coat your cat. What I meant to say was clear coat your pushy cat. And so go ahead and just add a coat or two of some kind of a sealant to this. This should keep it good to go. And by the way, the name is pushy cat. I've seen some people make push sticks with cat like figurines on it. I haven't seen anything like what I built, so I'm calling it original. Thank <laughs> you. 